of this body of work is to portray autonomous female sexuality in such a way as to comment on the portrayal of women and female sexual identity. The social construction of the portrayal of female sexuality has its roots in art history dedicated to the female form. My works make a comment on these as well as other images that use the female body but negate female experience. For example, in Surrealism and the mass media. Surrealism as a movement has influenced my body of work tremendously. Many current images of the body owe much of their content to the surrealistic images of the body as grotesque, unfamiliar and uncanny. The link that images in surrealism and media images of women have to pornography is visually obvious. Even though the context of past portrayals of women have to be situated in a complex set of discourses of modernist aesthetics and traditional ideologies of gender relations, these ideologies are still present in most portrayals of women in the media as aesthetic, erotic objects of desire. This becomes problematic for women who often either identify with the male gaze and transform the looked at female into an object, or identify with the female body on display and thus turn herself into an object of desire. The paintings are created from photos of my own body which I have often disfigured or enhanced in programs such as Photoshop. This is done not only to manipulate and combine body imagery to create a surreal or impossible body, but also to comment on the artificiality and subjectivity of media imagery and paintings of the female form. The photoshopped images of the body often change and become recreated through the process of painting. The size of the works and the bodies within them are larger than life and the angles and colours that are used to portray these images are done in such a way as to make the viewer feel uneasy in the viewing position. Not able to possess the body with their gaze, but also not able to look away from the aesthetically rendered and displayed bodies. Thus there is a certain level of ambiguity in the paintings in the sense that they both objectify and empower the female body. Thus, in this body of work there is a feminist concern with portrayals of sexuality and socio-cultural constructions of femininity. In order to counter the traditional male mastery over the female body, we must highlight the relationship between the body and female subjectivities and personalities that have been continuously negated and omitted by the Western tradition as well as media imagery of women. The three main elements in my work are thus female sexuality, the nude, and objectification. Other issues include voyeurism, disfigurement, the tension between pornography and art, and the aestheticizing of objectified female forms. The nude in art has been enshrined as an icon of culture since the Renaissance and epitomizes the objectification of female sexuality. This is my influence for using the nude in my art. The use of my own body is due to the desire to control meanings associated with the nude and recreate personal meanings while commenting on constructed meanings of the nude female body. I try to rupture the discourses of the fine art nude and the pornographic nude in which nudity equals sexual availability equals male pleasure. The bodies are presented in a flat, often contextless space, which links to the idea of the nude as a way of containing femininity. I add thin layers of lace in a variety of ways to give different effects. Thus, lace patterning is an important feature of my work. It not only serves as a signifier of femininity and female sexuality, but also as a device of voyeurism as it reveals at the same time that it conceals. The link to pornography and voyeurism in my work is at times explicit. 
Although my aim is to discourage the viewer's ability to penetrate these bodies with their gaze by omitting certain areas with gaps or darkness, thereby not allowing the viewer intimate access to the body. The low angles hint at voyeuristic views but also make the viewer feel smaller than the figures. I make use of cropping and obscure angles and present the paintings above eye level to induce a threatening presence.